Hello everyone, welcome back to Web Knowledge. Please like the video, share to your friends, and subscribe the channel. Today I am going to show you how to configure VPN in Crastim router. So I have GWN 7001, and as you can see, there are multiple options in the VPN like PPTP, IPsec, OpenVPN, L2TP, and Today I am going to show you OpenVPN as a VPN server. So IPsec option as well support site to site and client to site option and OpenVPN support client and server. And in this video I am creating a VPN server. So I am adding and giving a name. Now selecting the WAN interface and destination as all the networks which I need to push to the clients and we need to enable allow duplicate client so that one single VPN file can be used for multiple clients. Now in the push routes option we have to define the network of router and the VPN tunnel IP address. So first of all, I am giving router LAN network IP series here and giving the subnet mask. Now adding one more push route for tunnel network IP series and I am giving as 10.10.10.0 with the subnet of 24. Other settings should be set to default and now I am giving IPv4 tunnel network IP so the client will get this IP address when they connect. Now we have to create CA certificate. So I click on certificate and giving a name and entering the values key length and expiration. So you have to add multiple certificates like CA certificate, server certificate and then create remote users. So you can follow the same steps and you can create for yourself. Now we have to select server type as OpenVPN for this client and we have selected which we have added right before. Now giving username and password, this is optional. If you select SSL plus user authentication in VPN server, then this password and username is required. Now I am creating a certificate for this remote user and filling the details. Now we have created remote user. We are going now in the cert system setting option and certificate option. Now we have to export CA certificate and client certificate and client key. So I am clicking on client certificate and exporting it. Similarly, I will click on client key and export it. So we have three files, client key, client certificate and cl CA certificate. Since this router has older firmware version, so I am upgrading this firmware 1.0.5.7 in this router. So we have to first extract this file into the bin format and we'll upload it in the maintenance option and upgrade option. Now click on browse the file and selecting location of the firmware file. Now I select the file and it is showing the process. Now I click on install. It will upload the file completely and restart the router. I created a sample VPN file. Now the firmware is loaded and the router is restarted. So I am going to log in it again.
so my router is logged in and i'll show you the current firmware version after the firmware update as you can see the firmware is 1.0.5.7 and the previous version was 1.0.1.6 now as we have already created now you can see there is one more option added in this router after the firmware upgrade which is wireguard vpn and i have already created the video on this wireguard option you can see on youtube channel and as well i will give the link of wireguard vpn in this video description so i'll opening the sample vpn file and in the remote slash um give public ip of your router which was configured on your van and you can see the wireguard vpn video so we have three files of certificate from router we have to copy the file and paste into the sample vpn file so i paste the value in the particular field so i'm pasting the certificate client dot key values in the key section similarly i'll paste certificate value of client in the certificate tags in the vpn file similarly we have to copy the ca file and paste into the ca tags under the sample vpn file so i'm pasting all the files into the vpn file and creating a single vpn file so the file is ready and i can import it into the mobile application and similarly on laptop the application is open vpn you can use open vpn connect or open vpn gui application so configuration is done now you can subscribe the channel like this video and share to your friends thanks for watching this video and have a nice day